As I've said throughout this crisis, I cannot save every business. I cannot save every job. No Chancellor could. But what we can and must do is deal with the real problems businesses and employees are facing now. In March, the problem was that we ordered businesses to close. In response, we paid people to stay at home and not work. Today, the problem is different. Many businesses are operating safely and viably, but they now face uncertainty and reduced demand over the winter months. What those businesses need is support to bring people back to work and protect as many viable jobs as we can. To do that, I'm announcing today the new Jobs Support Scheme. The Government will directly support the wages of people in work, giving businesses who face depressed demand the option of keeping employees in a job on shorter hours rather than making them redundant. The Job Support Scheme is built on three principles. First, it will support viable jobs. To make sure of that, employees must work at least a third of their normal hours and be paid for that work as normal by their employer. The government, together with employers, will then increase those people's wages, covering two-thirds of the pay they have lost by reducing their working hours. And the employee will keep their job. Second, we will target support at firms who need it the most. All small and medium-sized businesses are eligible but larger businesses only when their turnover has fallen through the crisis. Third, it will be open to employers across the United Kingdom, even if they have not previously used the furlough scheme. The scheme will run for six months, starting in November. And employers retaining furloughed staff on shorter hours can claim both the job support scheme and the jobs retention bonus.